Yo, what's happening my charge people? Welcome back to the channel. Right, on this video, what we're doing is we're gonna show you how to replace Mercedes E-Class wing. Um, never done it before, so this is gonna be the first time. Also, gonna be replacing the tail light. Collected it yesterday. There's the wing, wing ting. Oh, here's the light. Hopefully not damaged it. So yeah, we're gonna be doing that. So hit that subscribe button, stay tuned, stay charged. And yeah, let's go on this journey because it's a bit of a mission. We're going down south east. You know what I mean? Got a few toolies, hopefully enough toolies. Let's go y'all, cheese. is 11.07 yeah let's see how long it takes to get down there and to do the job and everything else and yeah let's go yo cheese Sunny day, cheese! Right, we're about to approach the tunnel. You know what time it is. You gotta drop a gear and disappear, eh? Cheese! <laughs> oh, and don't forget to open the window. Gotta get that full soundage, you get me? Just got to me dad's and the time is 12.28 so about an hour and 20 minutes not too bad thankfully otherwise normally I'm sure it takes a lot longer than that and not just that I was stuck in so much flipping traffic for about 20-30 minutes right anyways we're here yeah and I've already noticed something oh god let's show ya yeah Check this out. But it's a minor because we can sort it. You know we got the rear light. Gonna replace that, yeah. That's LED. That's non-LED. So minor situation anyway, because we can just get the other rear light, LED light, which are gonna look better anyway. So nice upgrade. You know what I mean? So Fingers crossed that he's got it. Let's just check the colour of this wing, see if it's um, literally the same colour or not. Because my brother was saying to me, oh no, this and that. I don't know, do you know what? It don't look too bad, I guess. We'll see anyway, once it's on. Let's uh, go say hello to dad. We just said what's up what's up to dad yeah and um first job what we're gonna do change this light dad saying that he don't know if he wants the other led light i would personally go for leds 
Anyways, just use the quick trim tool, pull that back. Just noticed this wasn't even bloody connected either. It's given that nice little bit of access around here so we can get to the bolts but yeah i want to get this out a little bit more that looks like it's an eight mil there i should take the carpet away from there a bit let's undo that undo that from here yeah yeah loosen it up a bit no i mean just so we can get to the bolts for the lights here which is going to be one two three four eight mils five in fact so there's one going to be hiding back there yeah yeah ideally should really take out this whole panel but i can't be bothered i'm just gonna basically work around it just undone T20 torques, what was there, lift it up the carpet from there, pull that out from there, there's a little slit there, maneuvered it around and now we have access to the bolts and the plug and everything, let's get it out, let's change it and put it back. Right. Now you got your nutters out, that should literally just come out, lovely, just like that, lovely, lovely, lovely. you know what I mean? Lovely jubbly, as Dad said. Here you go. Merry Christmas, Tia. Say hello, Dad, to the hello. YouTubers. Hello, hello, hello. Right, yeah. Let's just make sure the connection is the same. Yep, that looks identical to that. Let's get this in. Get off the road, Dad. Go and try and get through, yo. Let's get this uh, lovely LED light in and check it. Yeah, yeah. That works. Break. Right. So, here we have Dad's bust up wing. And in order for you to figure out where's the screws and nuts and bolts, here is the wing that we've got. It looks kind of a alright replacement. But yes, how to tell where the nuts and bolts are? You've got one, two down there underneath the side skirt so we're gonna to have to basically undo that that is literally clipped in to the bumper here and it looks like it's got a little screw or sat in there so we'll have to figure that out and then the ones up top here we've got one two three four five and then one and two, when you open the door. So yeah, let's get this off. Right, it's hungry and cold work, working on the car. So we order a little KFC, a Zynga Tower burger, cheese. Let's indulge and then carry on. Got a nice little twisty, twisty wrap that's munched up first. Just undone the side skirt enough to basically get to one and two. Yeah, otherwise I can't be bothered to take off the whole bloody thing that's gonna be long. And those are like 10 minute 10 mils. We'll find out. Right, let's undo these 10 mil nutters. One there. Up the sides get a bit here. We should be alright, man. We should be good. And then we'll get the ones from there. And then the ones finally up top, yo. Jeez. Right, this is quite interesting. There's one um, nut bolt I've taken out from there. On the wing that I picked up, there should have been one up here with a cap or something, unless it's hidden. Um, but yeah, otherwise I can't really see one. Let's just take the ones off the top and see, you know, if it comes off or not. that 
one's going to be a bit of a fiddly one. We've got the wobbly on there. So, wobbly me off ski. Hopefully. Oh, don't want to damage the bonnet. We'll leave it like that and hopefully we'll get some leverage. Right, that works. Just like that. Wonderful! I think we might be ready to take it off. Yeah, yeah. Cheese! Let's do this. So I can see it's kind of um, clipped in there. Oh, and I see a screw back here. Just behind here. Need to see what screw it is. Bolted in just there. Yeah, yeah. Right, once you've determined what screw that is, held in via the bumper and wing, which mine was a T20, got that out. Are we ready? Oh yeah, open the door. Yeah, let's see. Here we have one wing ski. The reversal of fitting it up. Let's go from the bottom this time. Oh yeah. Don't forget the door. Cut up. Position, yeah. I think this wing is slightly different because uh. one's an avant garde, the other one's uh, elegant. It's not that much difference, like one or two holes, but now the fun part is basically aligning it up, putting it back. But look at that, it's 10-10 now. All right, so far, I'm just adjusting it. At the moment, what I've done, I tightened up these bottom ones, so that's pretty much lined up. This one, I'm gonna push in now, tighten that one up, I think them gaps are looking all right. Color matches looking all right as well. Do you know what? Yeah, man. Let's go to the other side. Decent. Holes looking a bit half decent again. Okay. Yeah. Let's come over. Have a look. Not bad, probably can go slightly that way. Oh, we lot all saying it's looking pretty lit. Don't worry about that. I'm gonna push that back. I'll say that's um pretty sweet, you know. I'll be happy with that. I'm sure dad will be happy with that. Nice little panel gaps are along there as well. Yeah, yeah. man legit right as you can all see it's all back together looks a bit better and you know what the colour back is pretty decent yeah it's lined up not too bad to be fair it's an experience first time doing one of these so if you like this video make sure you hit that like button Comment, share, subscribe, and stay yeah. charged for more content, yo. Cheese!